Good morning class. Uh, last lecture we have covered the basic idea about what is IoT. We have discussed the basic definition of the IoT. We said what is IoT? IoT IoT is nothing but we said IoT is nothing but a dynamic global network infrastructure with self-configuring capabilities based on standard and interoperable communication protocols and and physical and virtual things which have identified physical attributes and virtual personalities which use intelligent interfaces and are seamlessly integrated into the information network often communicate data associated with users and their environment uh, same we have discussed in little bit uh, simplest manner that that definition we said is the internet of things the internet of things is the network of physical objects that contain embedded technology to communicate and sense or interact with their internal states or the external environment this is what the definition we have discussed uh, i hope the definition is clear so internet of things is nothing but simply we can say everything which we can connect to the internet and once it is connected to an internet we can be able to access it from remote locations from any corner of the country we can able to, any corner of the globe we can able to access and that anything may be a man that is human being or maybe an any device maybe machine maybe laptop maybe fridge maybe washing machine fan tube anything anything that could have a proper connection of internet so collection of such things we will call it as an internet of things so what should be the characteristics of an iot if it is going to globally get accessed so highlighting point for the today's interaction is characteristics of iot so the listed characteristics of iot are it must be dynamic and self adapting self configuring interoperable communication protocol so normally it is known as icp unique identity integrated into information network so these are the some highlighted characteristics of iot now what is meaning of this dynamic and self adapting so dynamic is means continuous changing exactly opposite word is static which are fixed so characteristic of iot or a desirable thing about the iot network is what it must be a dynamic so we are calling it as what dynamic continuously changing so your infra structure maybe your network protocols or maybe anything it must be able to change continuously so we are calling it as what dynamic now what is meaning of self adapting self adapting means what whatever the things device human being you are trying to connect to an internet that device should be able to adjust with existing protocols which should be able to adjust with existing network and then and then only it will be cope up with that present network so iot devices and system may have the capability to dynamically adapt with changing context of and take actions based on their operations conditions user context and whatever the data sends so as soon as a small change in the environment that device should be able to adjust by their own side so we are calling as what self adapting so this is one of the desirable characteristics of iot second is self configuring now what is means self configuration so iot devices may have self configuring capability which allowing large number of devices to work together to provide certain functionality so these devices have the capability to configure themselves set up the network and fetch latest software upgrades with minimal manual or user intervention so this is what one of the highlighting point we can say self configuring it means that if i take simple example is what nowadays tv connections are coming with direct to home connections d2h connections like that we are saying so whatever the software you are running or whatever the devices you are having uh, at your home 
connected to your dish tv so that device detects each and everything the signal quality and if signal qualities are low uh, coming lows so that device adjusts himself so that can able to capture whatever possible available high quantity or what we can say good quality of signal strength so that is what we are calling self configuring also that device if any certain changes happens at the organization side automatically that device takes an initiative to configure it so we are calling it that what self configuring now next is what interoperable communication protocol that is what we says icp now what is meaning of this so iot devices need to communicate with other devices infrastructure continuously and iot must support for it so we can say in short uh, way heterogeneity is there the heterogeneity among the software heterogeneity among the hardwares so whatever the network you are building uh, of iot that network should be have capability to get operated with interrelation so we are calling simply interoperable communication protocol and next point one of the most important and desirable characteristic of iot is unique identity now unique identity means what we can say each and everything that you are trying to connect to an internet will be identified by a its a own address that address may be a combination of physical address and logical address so that logical address we say is ip address physical address we are saying mac address the hardware address so simply we can say logical address is software address or we can say the address which we are give, getting by the internet service provider so we are calling ip address and the physical address that is what because of hardware address so the combination of software and hardwares might be be having working as a unique identification so simply we can say that each iot device must have unique identity with as an unique identifier such as ip address or maybe we can use uniform resource locator we are calling what url like web address so sometimes address address ip address are uh, remembered by numbers url uh, remembered by words so words are more easy to remember than numbers if because if small change in the number make clear a problem so it is rem- uh, better to remember the url so url and mapping address to name or name that is we have open protocol over there to map these all names and numbers so the highlighting points is what we can say at this moment so each iot device on the network should have unique identity now next one of the characteristic is integrated into the information network now what is meaning of this so iot devices are usually integrated into information network which allows them to communicate and exchange data with other devices and system iot devices can be dynamically discovered in the network by other devices and or network and have capability to discover themselves to other devices or user application so what it says simply whatever the uh, characteristics we have discussed so far all are combined together to form the one more uh, characteristic called as what integrated into information network means you are trying to build your own network so your own network should able to communicate should able to have exchange of information with other networks which are already available there means interoperable dynamic and self uh, adapting all our points get covered here as an integrated into information network so we can say that iot devices are usually integrated into information network which allows them for the purpose of communication communication means sending commands receiving signals request request response kind of and communication that is second is exchange of data exchange of data means what suppose i have one temperature sensor so what sensor has sensed what kind of a temperature change that sensor has changed should able to exchange within the devices and the system so that is integrated into information 
network so iot devices can be dynamically discovered in the network by other devices and or network and have capability to discover themselves to other devices or user applications so this is the characteristics of iot so we can say simply what are the characteristics there may be a question list and explain the characteristics of iot so sequence doesn't matter but you can remember in a, in a simplest manner like the first is uh, the dynamic and self adapting second is self configuring third is interoperable communication protocol fourth is unique identity and fifth one is integrated into information network so these are the simplest characteristics of iot i hope the concept is clear thank you we'll next lecture basically we will try to cover the applications of iot thank you